Hi everybody, so I'm recording this video near the end of June 2024 and I thought it would be a good time to revisit my video tutorials about the Daisy PC editor mods because since I last did them um, there's probably a lot of new people who have come to console and PC Daisy and will be interested in this amazing uh, resource that we have available to us by the amazing Implement Dab. Um, so in the description below this video what you'll see is a link to um, a playlist of tutorials because I'm going to try and make these, these tutorials nice sort of bite-sized chunks about how to use uh, Daisy Editor and what you'll also see is you'll see a link to the next video in the series about this and you'll also see links to the relevant things we're talking about for example Daisy Editor on Steam and uh, obviously uh, Daisy itself um, which you'll need so in terms of what do you need to run Daisy Editor? What can it do and how much does it cost? Um, it's really important to understand that Daisy Editor, although it's a PC mod, can give us on console some amazing abilities to do some fantastic stuff. So uh, just as some examples I'm pulling off here. So as you can see here, what this is, this is um, a kind of a gun warehouse that I created where I put all of the guns that are in the game into a warehouse basically to do tutorials but also to show new people um, you know all the different guns and all the different attachments that went with them. Um, here's another project I did with Daisy Editor where um, I put these various tents around the map and inside the tents there was lots of building stuff I called them pioneer tents so the idea is it would make it easier for people to build things because they'd be able to find them. Um, and here's another example of a castle that I put up near um, Sinistock. So, you know, a brand new castle. It's got tents with stuff inside them and all that sort of, sort of gear. And we can, we can create these custom objects for console and PC, which is the absolutely fantastic, powerful thing about the Daisy Editor mod. So what you want to do to start off with, if you're interested, what you'll need to have is a PC that's capable of running Daisy. Um, and again, if you just go to the Daisy page on Steam and scroll down a bit, you'll see the minimum requirements. And you'll need to buy Daisy. You need to have Daisy on PC. I know you've probably already bought it on PlayStation or Xbox, but if you want to run the mod, you need to own it here as well. Maybe wait until it goes in the sale um, or something like that. Um, and then once you've bought Daisy and you've installed Steam, you go to the Steam Workshop and then you can get the Daisy Editor mod. You just subscribe to it and you subscribe to uh, CF Builder Items and Dabs Framework. Um, and that will all down download to your PC. I'd recommend play around with Daisy first. <laughs> get used to it a little bit on PC. Um, and then you'll be able to fire up. The mod itself is absolutely free. Um, but recommend that you go over and you look at the GitHub um, and the Discord that the guys have. Um, and there will be sort of PayPal links and Patreon links. So if you'd like to support the project, please do. Because the Daisy Editor mod is one of a handful of mods that have really changed Daisy for the better for console as well. Because it gives server owners, community server owners, the ability to spawning. Um, custom buildings and we can spawn in custom loot we can make we can spawn in buildings that have custom loot in them we can um, build uh, different structures out of things like walls we can add textures we can add trees we can have bushes we can have all that sort of thing so it is fantastically powerful um, so in this series of videos I'm going to be going through and just going through the basics the idea of of this is that by the end of these series of videos you'll understand really kind of how Daisy Editor works and how the file system works on your community server for um, spawning in custom buildings that have loot spawning in them using the central loot economy. Um, you'll know how to place buildings, you'll know how to rotate them, um, uh, you'll know how to save projects, um, you'll know where all the files are and that sort of stuff. So you'll know the basics and by the, then when you've finished you'll be able to take things a little bit further and kind of start exploring the myriad of tutorials that are out there. Um, showing you how to use Daisy Editor and the other wonderful things that we can do with it. So there we go. Now, if this interests you, obviously subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Um, hit like. And again, all you need to do is go down to that description and click on the next video. <laughs> and you can, you can crack on with this series that will hopefully 
be helpful to everybody who wants to learn you to use Daisy Editor so they can put these custom objects on their console and their PC servers.